what did Linus say? He would wait at the pumpkin patch for the great pumpkin to rise. I don't remember how that all went, but I know pumpkins are tasty. Oh, smells good. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will drink, be drinking, and I plan to enjoy, Rogue Brewing's Pumpkin Patch Ale, which is an ale brewed with roasted pumpkins. Um, I had my first pumpkin beers that I recall a year ago, and let's see, I had Trader Joe's, uh, Joseph Brow Brewery, and that was eh. And I had a, a pumpkin apple cider, and that was eh. But then I also had Hopworks Urban Brewing, which I believe is just called Hopworks now. A Hopworks um, uh, Great Gourds of Fire, Howling, not Howling Gourd. Um, whatever Hopworks Urban Brewing out of Portland's um, beer, pumpkin beer was last year. And the thing I particularly liked about that was that the, the pumpkin was clearly roasted in the beer. Like, roasted pumpkin has this really delightfully deep, complex, earthy, sweet um, flavor and aroma, and it was clearly present in the beer, and it was a really delicious beer. Like, I really liked that beer. This, being that it is brewed with roasted pumpkins, I'm hoping can bring back that in the odd chance I don't find any Hopworks this year. When I poured it first, it had a really nice thick head. And indeed, I'm smelling uh, pumpkin pie spice kind of smells. Sweet uh, cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon, mostly clove and nutmeg kind of smells. And there is kind of an earthy hoppiness to it, just, just subtly there, which would probably pair nicely with, uh, you know, a pumpkin, uh, a squash or gourd <laughs> um, beer flavor. The color is really nice. The color is like a spiced apple cider. That's a pretty good color. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Hmm. Okay, it's interesting. I think it might benefit from being warmer, come to think of it, actually. And let's uh, make this a little bit smaller so I can get it warmer quicker. Um... So what I'm tasting off the bat, there is a, a sweet, kind of a, a pumpkin pie flavor, like a nicely baked pumpkin pie flavor to it, um, which is, it's nice, it's pleasant. And then there's a little bit of maybe an amber ale. So it's clear they used, or I believe that it's clear, it tastes as though they used a more roasted malt, a, a moderately roasted malt rather than a pale malt, which is appropriate for this season. Here as the weather cools, I'm recording this in early September, here as the weather cools, you're, you, you want beers with more body and depth and flavor and, and, and so darker roasts, ambers, and, and the like are more easily found and might be more appropriate. They go nicely on cooler evenings. Um, we're having really delightful late summer weather right now in the northwest. It's been a kind of a on and off rainy August, but here for the first week of September, it's been quite nice with highs in the low to mid 70s and uh, some scattered clouds and such, but it's pretty clear overhead right now. And uh, let's see how a few degrees of warmth might have opened this beer up a little bit. Hmm. Okay. It's still, it's not bifurcated. It's not a divided beer. There is the spiciness, like the, the pumpkin pie spice um, to start off with. Then there's this kind of really quick but kind of dry and maybe a little bit burned middle flavor. And then you're left with this kind of this amber amber finish. Any hops are pretty moderate in this. They're focused on an earthy flavor, so you're not getting a floral or anything like that. It's more woody and earthy, which is good. You That's just the flavor that's going to work better. This reminds me of maybe if I mixed a, like, drinking spiced apple cider while eating a pumpkin pie. 
just without most of the sweetness. It's good, but it's definitely better warmer. I would serve this no cooler than 45 degrees, really. I mean, 50, the warmer it gets, the more the sweetness comes out. And the sweetness, I think, fills in some of the, some, some of the gaps and the holes in the beer. Just smooths out the whole experience, makes the pumpkin more recognizable, and brings out the spices and just lets them play really nicely. Um, and I think this beer definitely benefits from that. So I might take the remainder of the cans out of my fridge and just drink them at room temp. <laughs> That's a tasty beer. I like that. Um, memory being what it is, it's far superior to Trader Joe's. I think as Trader Joe's was Howling Gourds, I think. Far superior to Trader Joe's pumpkin beer. Not quite so balanced and just delightfully full and earthy as Hopworks. Uh, but still, a decent beer. Good job, Rogue. This is me, Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, enjoying Rogue Brewing's Pumpkin Patch Ale while I wait for the great pumpkin to rise over the pumpkin patch. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>